And it's time for this week's STEAM series, our focus, technology and art. Tonight, we're taking you down into the basement of a hospital to meet one woman who runs the switchboard. Can you help? Out of business health. Good evening, doctor. How can I help you? It's nighttime in the basement of White Memorial Hospital in Boyle Heights. Here in the call center, no one is going home anytime soon. This is a 24-7 operation. Today we had a cold silver on one of the floors. Well, it is a very busy place. Call into White Memorial or call out, and it's Angelica Hernandez and her team who will make the connection. We get maybe about 3,000 calls a day. Adventus out. This is Angie. Can I assist you? Calls for help are the most urgent. Code red is fire. Code pink is infant abduction. Code silver, that's a weapon. It didn't take long for them to clear it. The code that's most common? Code blue, which is cardiac arrest. All hospitals have code teams. Medical staff who drop everything in an instant, then pick up a code kit. A run in hopes of saving a life. Elevator bypass buttons help prevent delays, and so do these. No signal, no problem. It beeps to let them know that it's a code. Of all the STEAM disciplines, running a hospital call center relies most on technology and art. The art of being many things to many people. For doctors, Angelica can be a switchboard operator. Okay, let me connect you, sir. For community locals, she's often a sleuth, trying to figure out. Well, what's the problem? What is it that you need? We have people, especially the elderly patients, they call us, they're like, I need to schedule an appointment. Okay, what kind of appointment? I don't know. Something with my breast. So, okay, mammogram. There's also the art of soothing the scared. Sometimes patients dial zero just because... They're sad being in a hospital, so they miss being at home. Calls from hospitalized patients often have the most lasting impact. I still have patients calling me for mirrors, and they just want to know how I'm doing. How's my family? How's my kids? It's very touching. That's why I love what I do. As a kid, Angelica never imagined she'd one day play such an important role in helping keep a hospital on track. I was a young mom, so I quit school and got my GED. From there, she tapped into a passion. I love the medical field. So she completed a program to become a medical assistant. When a job in this call center opened up, her training and experience helped her land it. I've been working here for like 18 years now. Whether it's a frightened patient, frazzled doctor, medical emergency, or power outage, Angelica and her team remain at the ready to keep on making those critical connections. Her advice to the next generation, don't let a setback hold you back. I struggled. I've been a single mom. I have three beautiful children. Don't give up because there's always good things out there that you can do.